Hey there hotties, we're coming at you with another tutorial this week. We've shown you how to insert your screenshot images into mockups, but let's say that you're completely in love with your entire website, or you want to show a sneak peek of a new collection, or a snippet of a how-to video you're releasing later that week, a screenshot might not cut it. Inserting a scrolling video lets you share even more and it adds an extra element of interaction. So first of all, you're going to want to set up your document size in Photoshop and then just drag and drop your background image. I'm using this gorgeous fall graphic from the Saffron Flame collection and you can then go ahead and do any cropping or resizing that you need to. Next, you'll want to create a smart object where the screen is in the image, so grab your rectangle tool and create a shape approximately the same size as the screen you'll be recording, and then adjust from there. If you need to resize the screen, then you can hold Command and T and adjust the height and width of the shape. Also, you'll want to keep the color of the rectangle black because when you adjust the opacity of your video, you'll want the color showing through to be black to keep it realistic. Once the sizing is right, then you'll turn the shape into a smart object by right-clicking on the rectangle layer and clicking on Convert to Smart Object. Next step is inserting the video. So first of all, you'll need to record the video. I'm using Screen Mailer, but there are a ton of different programs and extensions you can use if you just do a quick Google search. I'm going to record a scrolling video of the Hotstock membership page so I can share it online with viewers who might possibly not be a member to get them excited to check out the membership page and learn more. So once you have that recorded, make sure you're downloading your video as an MP4 file and once you've done that, we can head back to Photoshop. The next steps are super simple, so once you're back in Photoshop, you can go ahead and just double click your Smart Object layer to open up the new tab, and then drag and drop your MP4 video file into the frame, and then resize and reposition as needed. You can go ahead and skew if need be, but try to avoid going overboard and distorting the look of your video. Next, you'll want to open up the Timeline panel by going to the Window tab, and in the drop-down menu, select Timeline. In the Timeline panel, go ahead and click Create Video Timeline. From here, you'll see two boxes on top of each other corresponding to your layers. You'll want to extend the rectangle layer to the same length as your video so that they play and appear for the same duration. That way, any opacity or effects you apply will be consistent. And then, speaking of opacity, I'm just going to adjust the opacity of the video layer now to lower the contrast. And after that's done, you can close and save that tab. Now you'll also need to create the video timeline on your main file in order to get the video to play. And lastly, to get an even more realistic look, you can add a few layer styles to the video layer. Just double click on the layer and you can add a gradient with the right angle, opacity, and blending mode depending on the natural light or look of the background image. And that's all I would do for this specific photo because it is quite a crisp and clear photograph. So the screen matches the overall aesthetic, but for example, say that you had a grainy or a vintage -y looking background image then you might want to go ahead and add a pattern overlay to the screen to add some noise or texture that will help match the background so that everything just blends together. All that's left to do is to save your scrolling video mockup. To do this, go to File, Export, Render Video, and then Save. Now your dynamic graphics are ready to share.